in our last video, we created this very basic skeleton of a uh, DCS retribution campaign. So in the next one here, we're going to go ahead and start populating. First, we'll start with SAM sites to protect some of the areas, and then we'll move to you know other components. So without further ado, let me pull up our DCS. Let's open up our mission editor. I'm also going to pull up our Wikipedia. So the first thing is each SAM site, based on what you want to do, um, they are going to be either long range, short range, medium range, or triple A. Um, and so you only need to pick one of these. You, it, you don't have to set down like a bunch of different types of things. I, I'm going to use the Patriot for uh, my long range SAMs. I'm going to use the Hawk for my medium range SAMs, and I'm going to use probably the Rapier, um, and then the Vulcan probably, just because I can remember them a little bit better. But we have a, a quick reference guide, which is here. And it tells you, okay, if you want an early warning radar system, this is what you need to put down. Put it down at this, put it down in these collisions, um, and you can't, you can't lose. And then each of the different things that you can use for strike targets. So whether it's a factory, an ammo depot, whatever, tech combine, um, these are all of the different things that you need to use in order to be successful in terms of it being um, used appropriately uh, for your. Uh, uh, for your for your campaign. So we're going to go ahead and open up our tutorial. Yeah, this is our tutorial mission and we're going to start placing down some SAMs. I'm going to start with we're going to start with the Patriots. Uh, so we're going to put in So we're going to start we're just going to start from right to left. So Avda is going to get a Patriot system. I believe if I click on ground units, category, air defense, let me just go find a Patriot system. We want the LN. Yep. Okay. So we'll put a Patriot, put it over here. And I'm just going to copy it. Oops. We're just going to copy that and we're going to start adding our long range SAMs everywhere that we want long range SAMs. So we're not going to put a long range SAM over here at the red fob. Um, I'm going to just assume that they didn't have time to put, put one together, but I will put one maybe over here. And I'll probably put one over here. back a little bit here so maybe like right there um, I might put one in the city all right next we're gonna do medium range so these are gonna be our Hawks and which would we need we need the LNM 192 okay so I'm probably gonna put a Hawk system over by our bridge Copy it. Probably going to put a hawk system over here somewhere. All right, next we're going to do early warning radar system. And we need the 1L13. Oh, shoot. And I just realized I screwed this completely up. So don't do what I just did. And you're going to need to make sure that everything is task force blue. I am going to edit. Edit out you having to watch me unfuck myself. Uh, but yes, don't do that. You need to make sure that everything is combined joint task force blue in this case. All right, so I fixed my mistake, and now we're going to add the early warning radar system. We're going to do it for ourselves as well as for them. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and click ground your defense ewr 1l13 make sure that you are blue ewr here we 
we are. So we'll put one over here for us. Copy it. We'll put one over here. Uh, next, we need to do some AAA. Um, so we'll grab a Vulcan. Vulcan. We'll do. There, put some there, some triple A. Yeah. All right, so we put in some triple A, and now we need to put in some actual strike targets. So I'm going to go ahead and save this really quick. So we're going to want workshop A, we want, we can do some scuds. So why don't we do some scuds, because having some, some scuds would be nice. All right, so what we're going to do, we're changing ourselves to combine joint task forces red. And we are going to be doing missiles. And we're going to do scud B. And so now we have to figure out where we want to put some scuds. So I want to put some scuds Maybe I want to put some scuds out in the desert. Over here sounds like a plan. Here. All right. Now we want silkworms. Make sure that we select red. Silkworms. And where would I put silkworms? I would probably put some right there. Now we want the N2 silkworm. Two silkworms. So next we're going to want to put in, let's put in some factories. So what we'll do there is we're going to click on our static objects. We need to select blue. And we are going to do warehouses. I guess workshops, technically. Structures. Workshop A. OK. So we are going to plop some down. Kind of, we can put one there. Let's make a couple. We need to give ourselves some as well. So we can stick one there. Okay, so we've got some workshops down. Now let's put in some tech combines. Tech combine, just the normal one. Okay, that there. And the tech combine can be either, okay, so we'll just leave it blue. Put another tech combine over here. Oops, that one doesn't really fit. Let's give ourselves some tech combines as they count towards our infrastructure. We do need some. All right, now I want to do uh, we're going to do warehouses and we're going to do ammunition depots. Oops, I think I just turned that into an ammo depot. Nope, I didn't. Ammunition depot, and they need to be either red or blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the ammunition depots close to our, um, our air bases here. There, there, that's probably good. And we can also put, uh, we'll just do a generator, generator F. We'll put a couple, you know, in the fob area. All right. 
good enough. So we're going to go ahead and save it. And that's kind of it that we've, you know, we've kind of made our targets. We've got, you know, things that we can do now. So let's go ahead and open it back up in retribution and take a look. All right. So let's go ahead and create a new game here. Next. And we're going to select our tutorial again. Next, 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 finish. And we'll just go ahead and accept all of our changes. And as you can see, we now have uh, different targets that we can use for different things now. Ah, so this is a good opportunity to showcase that we don't see our long range SAMs for whatever reason. Uh, so now we can take a look at why this is the case. It's probably because I didn't change it from USA to uh, something else. So let's go ahead and go quickly open up uh, DCS again and take a quick peek. All right, everyone. So I figured out what the issue was. Uh, so I very stupidly was not following my quick reference guide. I was making SAM and uh, other um, assets for anti-air as blue and not red. I'm going to make sure that I put a banner um, when I start placing them down in the, in the thing, which you probably already saw, um, so that you don't do my my level and brand of stupidity. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we, this is what our, what it should look like and what it'll look like in the, uh, the Miz file. Um, and then we're going to go ahead here and in just a second, we're going to open up retribution here. We're going to go ahead and create a new game. Tutorial. Uh, one of the things that we're going to do is campaign. Is it campaign management? Just so that we can show that everything's there. Finish. That's fine. So we should see that we are buying things. That's great. That's what we want. Begin campaign. There we go. Now it's we've created you know different things here based off of the campaign that we built, and if we were to fly this, we would be able to uh, strike these different targets. So this is where I'm going to leave you uh, for now, um, and then in the future I'm going to put together a little bit more information um, on how to you know customize things a little bit further. So in our next video, I'm going to walk through a factions file. And then in future videos, we'll talk about advanced high ads and other things. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.